Hey gang, welcome back to the channel where I am currently porting up, up a uh, an old uh, MS-400, the 67cc guy, for Andy. Um, and I made a mistake. This is what happened. So um, <laughs> here's the deal. So every one of us make mistakes, even the best of us, okay? And, and but I find that I'm the only person that shows my mistakes. <laughs> but like all of us make mistakes, you know, the big guys, uh, Mastermind, uh, Kevin, uh, uh, Buxton, Joe, uh, everybody, Tim, Jeff, everybody makes mistakes, right? The difference is, is how we go about dealing with them. And, um, a lot of people will pretend they didn't make a mistake. Um, <laughs> and you know, I, I mean, that's fine. A lot of pe other people will roll with it and say, "What? What, what are we going? What? We're going to go a different route with this, you know." Um, so, anyways, here's what I have done, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to fix it. All right. So these four uh, hundreds. All right. That skirt right there went all the way across. I cut that out. All right. Um, which is fine and dandy. I have a very large and in charge hogging bit that I use for stuff like that. It goes pretty quickly. Well, I also use this little bit to, um, there's a nub right here on the, on the top of the cylinder, right? And if you don't get that nub off, it's kind of a close call whenever you put it in your lathe for this guy right here. So we got to get that nub off. Well, in doing that, I was using that big hogging bit and it jumped. Whenever it did that, ba bam, there's the problem. Okay, now as you can probably make out, let me see. There we go. It doesn't go all the way up to the hole. So uh, a spark plug would probably just simply work. You know, th th this is probably not an issue. Let's see. Let me let me look at something right here, real quick. This is the actual spark plug for this saw. And that is your washer. Notice how much larger that the diameter of that washer is than the actual um, threaded portion of the spark plugs. It probably isn't even going to get to that. Fuck. I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to fix it. Okay, yeah, so anyways, that would definitely seal. There's no doubt about it. It would seal. However, I'm already here. Let's go ahead and do it and try and fix it as best we can. Let me show you how I'm going to do it. This is a drill bit for one of those uh, Craig systems, I think, or Craig systems. Uh, it's for drilling holes in wood let's say and there's a collar it's a collar on it right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to machine i'm going to cut this off boop, right here cut it off and i'm going to machine this portion to perfectly slide down in right there then i'm going to put um some very mild sandpaper up there maybe some like 220 grit at first uh, maybe, maybe 400 grit at first, honestly. And, uh, and, you know, just try and, uh, get that blemish out of there. All right. So here we go. Let's get to making some stuff. All right. So there we have it, friends. That uh, swirly there, I don't know what coil that you're seeing, um, is because I didn't uh, back my cutter out before I moved the, the table down. Whatever. Um, so that's what it is. Just had to machine a little bit off of it. Now it fits right down in there just right. All right. And I'll still have to have a steady hand because it does want to rock back and forth 
which is really surprising to me because I checked over and over again. Um, maybe I'll put some tape on that. Yeah, I'll give that a try. I don't know. The tape's going to bind then. Um, anyways, so turns out I've got these little sanding discs that came with something. I don't know. And, and they're sticky. So I'm going to put them on. I'll put it on like that. And then I'll trim off the excess. And then we'll get back to it. Okay, I tried to, I decided to try and give it a shot without trimming off the excess. Let's see what this does. Mostly touching on that outside ring there. Looks like I'm putting uneven pressure. There we go. There we go. Almost got it. Almost got it. That little dot hmm, is all I really am caring about. Man, that's, 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 that's working so good. The problem, if there is any, is that little spot right there. But I think that we have gotten all of it that's going to cause an issue with the actual seal of the washer. I think we're golden. <laughs> Let's uh, do a little, put a little squeeze on it. We're good, bruv. We're good. Yes. What's that, Russia? USR for AC Russia 173 Okay Bosch made in Russia I suppose All right I can live with that Okay so nifty little trick That worked out stellar didn't it Now yeah I've ruined this bit but if I ever need to do that again I'll have this and that worked a charm so uh and these little discs i don't know what i got them with but I, clearly i got them with something glad to have them i was planning on just poking a hole in regular sandpaper and putting it in there but didn't have to do that now did i so anyways there you go 
just be inventive. All right? So, I mean, that cylinder wasn't ruined anyways. Uh, but, you know, like, uh, if, like, 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 all I would have had, even, it wasn't even going to leak. It wouldn't have even leaked. I just wanted an opportunity to show you guys how to do something a little bit different. And, uh, but, but even if it had leaked, just a simple, um, uh, copper washer on there would, would just fix it. So it's not an issue, but, but now you got a chance to learn how to do something a little bit nifty and there we have it. Now that will, I mean, all total, I probably didn't remove five thousandths of an inch you know it was nothing but um yeah probably like four three or four thousandths of an inch is all that i removed uh but you know that spark plug's gonna stick in a little bit further so just saying uh whatever later